we're going to take a look at how to find the slope from an equation. They ask us to find the slope of the line y equals negative 2 over 2x minus b. Simplify your answer and write it as an improper fraction, proper fraction, or an integer. Okay, so first we need to think about the form that this equation is written in. This equation is written in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form looks like this. y is equal to mx plus b. And when you have an equation in slope-intercept form, x and y always stay as your variable. The number that we plug in place of m or put in front of x always represents the slope of the line And the number that you see added or subtracted at the end represents the y-intercept of the line or where the line crosses the y-axis. So when we have this form in mind, we can take a look at this equation. And since we're trying to find the slope, we can see that the slope would be negative 2 over 2 since that's the number in front of x. And it did ask us to simplify. So if we take negative 2 over 2, well, any number over itself simplifies to 1, right? Another way to think of this is that 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 2 one time, and this is the same as just negative 1. Find the slope of the line y equals negative 9 over 1x minus b. Simplify your answer and write it as an improper fraction, proper fraction, or integer. Okay, so again, our equation is in slope-intercept form because it looks like y equals mx plus b. Since we're finding the slope, we're looking for the number that's in place of m, which in this case is negative 9 over 1. And remember, and in this case, they didn't simplify it, but we can simplify that. Remember, anything over 1 is just a whole number. So this we can simplify even more to say that it's the same thing as negative 9. But that matches up with our answer choice, negative 9 over 1. Find the slope of the line, y equals 4 over 9x. Now, this is in slope-intercept form. It looks a little bit different because we don't see a y-intercept at the end. But all that means, if they didn't write the y-intercept at the end, it must have been plus 0 because that's the only number you wouldn't write. And if you fill in that plus zero at the end, right, to make our equation look like this, y equals four over nine x plus zero, you can see that it is still slope-intercept form. They just simplified out the y-intercept of zero. So the number in front of m would be our slope, which in this case is four over nine. We have a very similar situation here, y equals 8 over 1x. So that is our slope-intercept form. Again, it doesn't look like it. We don't see that b, but that means that b must have been plus 0. So another way to write this equation is y equals 8 over 1 x plus 0. Since we're looking for the slope, that's always going to be the number in place of m. So that would be 8 over 1. And 8 over 1, we can simplify to 8. Remember, fractions mean the same thing as division. So 8 divided by 1 is just 8. Find the slope of the line y equals 5 over 8x. Simplify your answer and write it as an improper fraction, proper fraction, or an integer. OK, so we have slope-intercept form. We don't need to rewrite it because we've seen a few this time. So we know even without the plus b, that just means that it would be a plus 0. So our number in place of m that would represent our slope is 5 over 8. And in this case, I can't simplify 5 over 8. So I'm going to leave it just like that. OK, we're finding the slope of the line y equals negative 9 over 1. Again, we've got slope-intercept form, so we're always looking for the number in front of x. That would be in place of our m. In this case, 
That's negative 9 over 1. And I can simplify negative 9 over 1. Remember we said fractions are like division. You divide the top or the numerator by the bottom or denominator. So negative 9 divided by 1, negative 9. Okay, and again, finding our slope in slope-intercept form, it's the number in place of m or the number in front of x. In this case, that's negative 9 over 5. Find the slope of the line, y equals negative 6 over 2x. That looks like slope-intercept form. So I know my slope is my m value or the number we see right in front of x, which is negative 6 over 2. Now they did say to simplify, so let's see how we can simplify this number a little bit. So remember, fractions are division. If we have a bigger number on top, it helps to see if you can divide it. I'm going to keep that negative out front. Well, 6 divided by 2 would give me 3. So the easy, the all the way down simplified form would be negative 3, but I can see they have an answer choice that's negative 3 over 1. Remember, that's the same thing since any whole number can be written over 1. Find the slope of the line, y equals negative 5 over 2x. Okay, well we have slope intercept form, so we know the number we see in front of x is our m value or our slope, negative 5 over 2. And in this case, I can't simplify that at all. Find the slope of the line, y equals negative 3 over 8x. Okay, just like before, this is slope-intercept form. You can fill in that missing plus zero to make it look a little bit more like slope-intercept form if that helps you. Our slope would be the number in front of x, our m value, negative 3 over 8. And there's no numbers that go into both 3 and 8 besides 1, so I can't simplify that. 